Hi guys, welcome to High Speed Aerodynamics. In this chapter, we're going to learn about moving and reflected normal shock waves. Uh, previously, in the last chapter, we learned about stationary normal shock waves. In the two pictures below of real cases, you can see shock waves produced by two different events. In the first picture here, there's an explosion on a ship that produces a shock wave and you can see that shock wave as I outlined here in red okay, and that shock wave travels outward instead of being a stationary and a normal shock wave the shock wave is curved and expanding outward at a very high speed in the second picture here you can see a space capsule traveling downward towards earth at a very high speed probably at Mach number beyond 5 and that produces a shock wave too shown in this red line here okay, it's also curved and it's traveling at very high speed the shock wave is traveling at very high speed together with the space capsule so both of these shock waves are not stationary in this chapter we're going to look at four key aspects number one is looking into the conversion of reference frames number two we are going to analyze a moving shock wave number three we are going to advance our analysis by looking at a moving shock wave that is finally reflected of a wall and number four as in the previous cases we are going to solve problems and analyze uh, different problems to apply our knowledge learned in this in the second slide here we can see another example of a moving shock wave traveling at a supersonic speed and this wave is produced by an aircraft label there traveling at a supersonic speed into a region of steel air which I'm labeling with a circle here because the aircraft is traveling at a supersonic speed the sound wave produced by the aircraft isn't fast enough to travel faster than the aircraft towards this region of still air so in a way there's no information coming from upstream towards this region that tells this region that the aircraft is coming so from the point of view of the molecules in this region there's nothing is coming so they remain still the pressure remains the same the density remains the same the velocity remains zero Suddenly, when you have an aircraft traveling at a supersonic speed impacting this region, let me draw this again, impacting this region at a very high speed, all the air molecules, air particles inside residing in this region has to react drastically to the changes that's happening across a very short time because of the supersonic speed of the aircraft. So all these changes of the gas properties, the pressure, the density, the velocity changes drastically. And these drastic changes occurs across this thin line of shock wave that is traveling together with the aircraft at a supersonic speed. The changes are a drastic increase in pressure coming across here, a drastic increase in the air density as it passes through the shock and also a drastic increase in the velocity or Mach number as the shock wave passes through this region of steel air. One way of thinking of this event of the supersonic aircraft traveling through stationary air is as if the aircraft is punching through a huge unbreakable hurdle to break the sound barrier it is as if there is a mosquito net it is only imaginary but you can imagine a mosquito net in front of it and the aircraft has to pass through and carries the mosquito net in the form of this shock wave okay carrying with it big changes in the pressure and density causing a big drag, a large drag uh, through the shock wave. This large drag is aptly called a wave drag, shown below here. 